Welcome to an invitation today. I'm here with my friend Lauren Langdon. Hi, Lauren. Hi. And we're going to make Lauren's favorite dessert, mm -hmm. peach crustade. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to start with a piece of puff pastry. Uh, you can buy this at the grocery store. Pepperidge Farms makes a beautiful puff pastry. Make sure that you let it thaw out. When you buy the Pepperidge Farm, it comes folded in thirds. If you let it thaw out, it's very pliable and easy to do. And so Lauren is just going to go ahead and, and roll this out a little bit. We don't need to roll it out a lot, but just to make it a little bit thinner, and go ahead and go in both directions. Yep, there you go. And then go side to side. Yeah, perfect. And we're just making it a little bit thinner. Okay, good. There we go. Perfect. All right, now take the knife. Okay. And you're gonna cut a big circle. Hey, Lauren, you want something easier? Let me show you a trick. Okay. All right, so look, you can take this plate. Now, it doesn't fit the plate, so we need to roll it out just a little bit more. So All go right. ahead and give it a little bit more roll. Okay. So we can fit the plate on there. Yep, a little more. Give it a little muscle. Uh, there you go, yeah. good job. Okay, now let's see, now, great. So now you can use this, and you can use this as a um, template to cut around it. Just go all the way around. Okay. So this is gonna make a nice size crustade that serves like four people. You can do a smaller one by using a smaller plate, and you could do individual ones if you wanted to. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're gonna remove the plate and now we're gonna remove the dough. Beautiful, look at that. Perfect. I'll take that. Okay, okay, perfect. Now we need your knife again. All right. I'm gonna do the first one and then you're gonna do the other. Okay. So we're gonna come out, I usually put my hand in the middle and we're gonna come out a couple of inches from the edge and we're just gonna go, every couple of inches you're gonna cut segments like that, okay? All right. Just cut all the way through. Mm -hmm, perfect. Kind of keep them all so they're the same. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Good job. Yeah. Uh huh. Maybe two more. Okay. Good. And one more. Okay, perfect. All right, so now we're gonna make the filling. Okay. So what we've got is about uh, a pound of peaches, okay? Okay. You can use fresh peaches, or you can use frozen peaches. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask. Yeah, because sometimes you can't find fresh peaches. Yeah. And they're, even if you have fresh peaches, they're not, they're hard sometimes, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So frozen peaches are always ready. All right, so, and we've got, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna add two tablespoons of brown sugar in there. So go and ahead. does it matter if it's light or dark brown sugar? Um, it, it doesn't matter, there's not a right or a wrong. I like light brown sugar for this one because the dark brown's gonna make it a little heavier. Gotcha. Right, It's yeah. gonna be a little mm -hmm. more caramely. Yeah. So just mix that in. Okay. I've got just about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. We're gonna give it a little cinnamon. Okay. And a little dash of vanilla extract. This is up to you what you wanna put in. You don't have okay. to put any of the, all these things in. Mm -hmm. And whenever you're making this, I always add a little lemon juice it's just a nice squeeze of lemon juice. And what does that do? Does that give it a sweet flavor? It, um, it gives the acidity to the sweetness, so you get that balance. Okay. But it also helps pull the juice out of the oh. um, peaches, so okay. you get that nice flavor in oh, the peaches. Oh, nice. All right, and then I always like, you know me. That's the best. Gotta part. have a little splash Gotta of rum. Gotta have a splash. So we're just gonna put a little splash of rum in there. Mm, okay. Perfect. All right. You're gonna go ahead and just put that right in the middle here. Okay. And you know, it may be too much for this one, but you can go ahead and, yep, and pile it up. Okay. Here we go. And it's okay if that liquid comes out. Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, you're gonna take this one and mm -hmm. fold it. Okay. And then you're just gonna go all the way around like okay. that. Okay, so go ahead and do that. All right. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna get a little butter to put on the finished product. And if it's gooey, it doesn't matter because it's gonna be yummy, all that's gonna caramelize. Mm, if you don't want that liquid, you don't have to have it. You can always just do it without 
you could drain the liquid off before you put it on the pan. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and get um, our spatula and we're gonna move this right onto that pan, okay? There we go, right in the middle like that. And then I always like to finish it with a little dab of butter in the middle, because you know. Butter is everything. Butter makes it better. <laughs> butter makes everything better. And then I come back and put some more butter on here, because I want it to be nice and brown. Now some people do egg yolks. Okay, that's what I was about white. to say. You can do that, you can absolutely do that. The, it actually helps it stick a little better, but you don't have to do that. So we'll see how it works without that. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna come back with a little sugar on the outside, it'll stick to the butter and it'll give it that pretty texture. Oh, yum. All right, that is very simple, right? Easy. All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven, 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Lauren, look at this. Oh my, it looks You delicious. made it. Delicious. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, I'm so ready to look try it. Look how nice and crusty that is. Oh yeah. Should we just eat it off the pan? I think we should. Okay, let's All just right. do it. Well, no point putting it on a plate. Yeah. It looks okay. too good. I'm gonna let you start. All right. Dig in. All right, I'll let's see. Fork. Thank you. Go for Ooh. it. Make sure you get some of that peach. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord. Doesn't that look good? And it looks delicious. Oh, big bite. <laughs> it's terrible, right? It's hot. It's still hot. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not very good. <laughs> Lauren, I'm sorry. I know this is your first video. You gotta take a little bitty bite, not a big bite. Yeah, I know you're hungry. I am hungry. <laughs> okay. All right, little bite. Here we Cheers. go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Really good, huh? Very good. Very delicious. You rock that. Thank you. Cheers. Here's Cheers. to you. Thanks for joining us today. We're here to make your life easy with entertaining and cooking. Don't forget, always make it fun, always make it easy, but most important, enjoy the experience. Cheers.